Hello and welcome to my coding session. This is project uh, about uh, developing a JavaFX application which manages XML files. If you are watching this video for the first time, then just uh, watch my first video in my player, li player list uh, and you will know what it is all about. And now I am proceeding with the coding session. So here is my uh, clips and I have here my project I have here other projects like this this is my um, just a case for prototyping I using sometimes prototypes but this is my project and I execute this POM maven test to make sure that I am passing all of my tests I need to tell following I am using test driven development as a main driver for my project and we will see some results yeah and this is all about refactoring in this session so I have here my set model test which tests my set model class and what I need to do, I need to refactor this code because this code's pretty, 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 pretty. I mean, it is not. It looks good. I can read it even at such speed. But I'm actually thinking about of uh, refactoring this code. I need to refactor this code. So what I can and should refactor. Let me just start from the top to the bottom. Now, let me just go to the top. So here is a, here is basically all things which I am, which I am using in this class. And just for recapitulation, set model consists all data from the satellite point XML and you can find here in my project satellites point XML and this is data which is uh, saved in set model set model consists this data in form of the set data structure and set data structure is a sorted satellites information set from the data type set information and set information it's a plain Java or old plain java object which consists uh, data structure about one satellite anyway it's all about uh, refactoring in this session it will be quite short I, need, I wish to make it separately so okay so here we have for example this part of code this is just simple assignment can I Refactor it, refactor, extract method, it will be private. Biggest return set to book with more than one local variable. Okay. So basically it, it tells me, yeah, I can refactor it, but I need a method for each of those. And let's just uh, try it out. So in order, um, this is just maybe too much of extracting but I do it anyway so I write here a method with the name of what what I'm actually doing here I'm passing some values and parsing 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 second level XML XML and this is a frequency set 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 frequency list frequency frequency list okay so now I'm just doing like that um, Person set frequency list. Mm. 
this is the code let me just let me just run my test this is uh, okay so I'm passing all of my tests so this is actually the power of TD now I can refactor my code without any headache and this is quite a, a, an example that is possible to, to, to work such way so what I have here parsing second level XML sat and what have we here symbol rate symbol rate list and the same goes to this refactor extract method now I just need to to do following parsing second level you will ask me what for what for I writing such methods um, I think this is all about clean, clean cleanliness of the code which I have here second level XML polarization list polarization list and before I create another classes I just need to make it clean and it, it does not cost me a lot of time to do that so extract XML parsing second level XML what have we here pack in a pack in a list pack in a list things like that pretty obvious let's just try for the I don't think that it, nah, okay, that's, that is not working but anyway I have here some sort of cleanliness and yeah I don't think I can do even more uh, I have here initial I assume that I'm having here initialization can I can I produce following so basically initializing values and passing these values to the setter okay and here I just return 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 let me just try to refactor it refactor it and I will write here init of list of XML second level init of no I'm initializing values initializing of uh, lists and this is attributes attributes that set info attribute is list this should work Ah, this is not what I'm actually. In order, in order to do that, okay. Let me let me just say following some things you cannot extract. And what about here? Just suppressing warnings. Suppressing warnings. Some people say this is not a a, a good solution, but. In any way, I did told you that I'm working, uh, thinking only about just to 
second time so I need it too much. So now now I have this part. Let me just so basically created some uh, methods but I still think the size of this is not yet satisfied but anyway let me just run my tests and this should all pass and, and if somebody don't don't believe me that I'm getting a good result let me just run this test only only one test and you will be pretty sure that I'm having uh, good solution. So once again, you see clearly that the TDD works because uh, the numbers are all all the numbers are good, and there nothing nothing corrupt, nothing is corrupt. So all data is consistent. Let me just say following. I need to refactor further. Let me just go here. And oh, it's okay, set model. So here in the code basically I think I can do here. Let me just extract refactor, extract method. Here I am initializing init set info first level attributes. I think this will be good right spelling. And now I just need to click OK. Alright, and now I, I just need to refactor this. And I'm refactoring those assignments. And I just put here name insert info second level attributes. And now when I'm done with those and I have here these things and actually let, let me run the tests all tests pass and I have the result output of my cre of my created object so it works pretty well and this is the power of TDD this is what I what actually Robert Cecil Martin spoken about that you that created tests give you clean, cleanliness which you actually hard to achieve in commercial products commercial projects for commercial products but cleanliness should be if 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 it is difficult to to make it happen but you should always try to achieve it it is it is it is need uh, to be achieved unnecessary uh, okay let me just remove this let me put here so what he think here all right so what you see wrong let me just save it okay so let me just run test and if I have something broken my test will show it yeah nothing nothing is nothing is broken and let me just point set model contents this information object and let me just Okay, so here I have my code, and 
I need to proceed further with the cleanliness of my code. Let me just proceed further, so I don't need this line. Maybe if I can put it like this. So basically I'm doing here refactoring before I start another class. And it shouldn't take me much time to do for the clean cleanliness of my code. So now I can see I have two methods. I created two methods in its info first level attributes. And I can put it in one in one method, refactor, extract method. And I will put this code to only one method with init all all sat info attributes and this is of course private and I have one only one line now I can test it and now I can pass it without any headache yeah and you see the result so simple things like that it was at first time, first when I created this class, it was very hard, but now it's it's simple simple game. So now I have here further method. Uh, I don't like that my switch case is. I don't like it that it is in four. Can I refactor this method parsing second level XML? Refactor, extract method, biggest. Okay, doesn't like it. Maybe, maybe if if I pick up this attribute, maybe it it should work. Extract method. So it does not so work. But this can be. I can do another job for this case. Uh, basically, I can here uh, work it out. So, here, here are the assignments which I need to refactor. So, I can branch, 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 branch. Okay, so it don't doesn't like my things result. Okay, so. Okay, so this is the case where I can do nothing. Nothing can be e extracted. Okay, not a problem. And basically, I need to touch. Need. I have no need to touch any further things. Analyze a return type list for set info object. This is actually part of code which I can probably try to refactor. Let me just. Try to refactor it. Extract method. Not not possible. Then it stays so. Basically. Okay. Now I can refactor this method. Add a depolarization element to transponder. So let me just extract method. Refactor. Extract method. Input result by, by what I'm doing here. Checking if so I'm basically validate. Polarization number. Okay, checking if polarization number is valid. Is valid. And now just need to click off OK. And now let me run tests. This should work without any problem. Yeah, works pretty well and this is the power of TDD you see I can now change my code 
without any headache. Now, I think this is actually. Can I? Okay, so all right. So just leave how it was. So now I need to work it further. Create simple. I can leave it like this. So now I have this situation. Okay. Okay. Let me just think. I don't like it. I don't like it here. Construct and adding set info object to set. So I need to save it. And I have a wish to extract this this sign assignments. And let me just extract method here. What I need to do, what I'm doing here, I'm iterating through amount of satellites, and I am actually creating new set info object. Let me just write here iterating over mounts over satellites, satellites, and Pretty explanatory. So now I have here. Now I can run my test. So what he does not like. Right, the value of the local variable is not used. Okay, let me just delete it and try it out. Let's just try my test. Let me just clean clean the output I just need to run only one test and then I run all of the tests this works simple very simple so you see clearly is it it's always work with the code when you write your project but when you write tests nothing can go wrong all of your data structure can and, and will stay consistent but your code become much much cleaner and this is actually nice nice very nice to achieve this so now what i'm having here have a new assignment nothing can be extracted here so basically Okay, I have here the things. I can. I don't don't want to to change this method. And I think that's it. Uh, what is about? Let me just just make a good formatting. I think this. Yeah, this is sufficient. And other things, Greg. Okay, so things which are pretty obvious, I don't change. But anyway, this was my cleanliness procedure. And now I just need to run my test. And look, look out of of the result. Nothing should go wrong. All should pass, and the code is got even even better. And this is what you actually need to achieve as a developer. You need to write test first, and make sure that your code will and stays cleaner as possible. So nothing, no zero failures, and all tests pass. Here you go. Now. Let me just finish this refactoring session and I proceed with further analysis and development of my project and the needed features. Till then, bye bye.